onion, garlic, oil, season mix, chorizo, Eggs. You guessed it. Leave no trace. It's now almost 10 a.m. and now it's hot. <laughs> the sun just peeked its head over the hill on this side just as I was cooking. And in the last half an hour or so it's it's gone from what was actually quite pleasantly cool uh, this morning to really hot. It's probably already early 30s I would say uh, we've been hitting 40 degrees most days so yeah that's that's partly why I did this trip today because I've been stuck at home for so long it's just it's impossible to do anything in the day really especially anything active So we appear to be reaching a corner here. Your guess is as good as mine as to what's around this corner. Let's find out together. Ow. Wow. More track, of course. right in the full glare of the sun. We really need to turn a corner so that I can walk in the shade for a bit. Okay, so thankfully it seems as though we're reaching a road and an open space. I'm hoping from there we can find our way back round over to the pine tree area.
Since I have the immense pleasure and privilege of being in such an incredible environment here, up in the hills of Andalusia, I thought now would be a great opportunity to, to do today's gratitude time. Very quickly, for anyone not aware, in these videos I take a moment to give my gratitude and thanks and appreciation and recognition to someone in my own life and somebody in the world of YouTube, somebody that's perhaps inspired me to, to start my channel. Um, firstly, uh, in terms of the outdoor adventure YouTube channels, today I'd like to express my appreciation to Matt from Adventure is Made. Matt goes on trekking, hiking, camping, um, outdoor adventures. Uh, with his canine companion, Poppy. Poppy is a beautiful dog who really brings a kind of extra element to his videos um, and some company to him. What I really like about Adventure is Made is that I think his channel really encapsulates the simplicity of the outdoors. How, like, sometimes we can get wrapped up in having all the best gear and the best equipment and the best locations and especially when you're filming like you can sometimes get wrapped up in in making sure everything's right i think matt really perfectly captures the simplicity and the beauty of just sitting on the edge of the water you know your tarp tent set up somewhere in the background a cold beer chilling in the water and just the tranquility and peace and quiet and ah oh, that glorious <laughs> sublime silence of just being out in the middle of nowhere and enjoying being away from the city and away from stress and all of what modern life brings so in summary please check out matt's channel adventure is made i really think that if you're just looking for that beautiful moment of peace and quiet of being out camping in the wilderness you get that instantly with his videos adventure is made youtube channel matt and poppy just beautiful beautiful videos in my own life i'd like to say thank you to ryan ryan somebody that i worked with years and years and years ago now in london and we've remained friends ever since I haven't seen the guy for years. I haven't been in London. I was in Bolivia for years. I'm now back in Spain. We haven't caught up in person for a long time. Ryan really brings an entrepreneurial spirit to me in my life. He encouraged me to, to set up my own business when I had the opportunity when my daughter was born back in 2017. He was really encouraging, motivated me. Like I used, I bounced off of him lots of ideas and he really was invaluable in helping me go from taking an idea uh, and a concept into something that was operating and yeah i really thank him for that and even now with this channel like i've spoken with him he's really been helpful in giving me ideas and um, encouragement motivation bringing positivity he has a real amazing optimism and you can just you just feel this positive energy resonating from him and yeah, Ryan's awesome. He's such a great person and uh, I really look forward to seeing him when I'm back in London. Thank you, Ryan. The, the crest of that cliff face in front is this vibrant red um, dusty color it really reminds me of uh, when I was in Australia they have this I can't remember if it's ochre or ochre I can't remember how you say it but this this type of deep red brick color
finally, after maybe two hours of walking directly under the blazing summer sun, we found some shade. I'm hopefully now entering an area with far more shade and an area where we can rest. Thankfully, we are finally passing from the sun to the shade. You can hear me over the sound of the cicadas. You see what it looks like the ruins of a building or something man made is going on here anyway. It's not natural formations. Either they've cut through the rocks to make what looks like it could be a cycle track or something. Hello and welcome to another beer review with Jimbo Walks. Today we will be reviewing the Arriaca Starter IPA. This is a Spanish beer brewed in Guadalajara here in Spain and as the name suggests it's their introductory IPA, their India Pale Ale. There are three or four different varieties of IPA available with Arriaca and I've tried a couple of the others. They were good solid nothing amazing but solid pretty decent and this is very much in a similar vein actually this starter ipa is only available in little as far as i know it's a pro it's a product they produce specifically for little and it's also available at a reduced price standard cost of an ariaca ipa is actually quite high uh, they can be a couple of euros a can which that's pretty steep here but i believe i paid 79 cents in euros for this which is excellent value for an IPA. What I tend to do with these reviews is that I'll buy two of the beers. I had one a couple of days ago at home in a glass, perfect temperature, had some time to think about it, did some research, and then I bring one with me so that I can review it live effectively whilst I'm out on a hike or a camp or here out in the outdoors. So this time I'm just gonna get straight to it. I'm gonna open up this can, have a taste of it, As always with my live reviews, this can has been in my bag. I've been walking around for a few hours with it. It is quite cold still. It was really chilled and it was with my cold water bottle. So it's not warm, um, but it is quite shaken up. 
Let's take a sip. Well, that was a gulp, not a sip. <laughs> I'm thirsty. I've been walking for hours. My water's more or less finished, so I was looking forward to this beer review. It's good. It's a solid three-star beer, in my opinion. It's an introductory IPA, so it's intentionally nothing too hoppy or too intense or too fruity. Um, on their website, it actually states that this beer was designed as an introduction to IPA for customers. And it actually does state that it's all of the features of an IPA without the complexity, their words. And, and I couldn't agree more. Um, it definitely has some of the characteristics, some of the features of an IPA, like it is a little hoppy. Um, it definitely does have some of the intensity, but it's medium across the board. It's medium body, it's medium flavor, it's medium hoppiness, it's medium bitterness, it's medium, um, like the, the, the depth of the flavor is just very average. And sometimes that's okay, sometimes that's enough, right? Um, if I'm to compare this to others, I'd have to take it down to like a three stars, as I say. It's certainly not bad. It's good, but nothing more. It's worth mentioning that this is 5% and it's a 33 centiliter or 330 milliliter can. I quite like the design of the can, actually. It is, it is an interesting design. It was quite appealing. It was quite attention grabbing when I saw it. Ariaka as a brewery presents itself as more like artisanal. So you're generally expecting a higher quality product than with some of the much bigger commercial companies that have released an IPA, but they don't necessarily bring with it that history, that kind of authenticity, that um, trade and that skill of, of a brewing a really decent IPA. But Ariaka have positioned themselves in the market as being more artisanal. They're a higher price point and you're expecting more from it. For that reason, I am being a little harsh, probably. I think I do expect a bit more than what's being offered here. Even as an introductory IPA, I think it's a little weak in flavor. Generally, I have to say that I do like this. I think it's a good beer, and I would recommend it, actually. If you can get this at a great price, if you're, for example, if you had a party and you wanted to buy 24 cans, and you can get it at such an amazing price, I think this is fine. It's it's not too offensive. Sometimes when I introduce people to IPA as a, as a new style of beer that they're not familiar with, you see in their face, they're kind of, Ooh, it's a little too intense, a little too hoppy for some people. So I think if you had a party, something like that, and you just needed to buy a stack of these, like a pallet of 24 cans, for example, I think this is probably a great shout. It's cost effective. It does really, it does do what they claim it should do, which it, it does give you some indication of the characteristics of an IPA, um, and it's unlikely to turn anybody off. All in all, it's a positive review. Three stars is not bad. This is fine. It's good. I recommend it. Check it out. You can find it in Lidl, I imagine. As always, thank you for watching this beer review. Please subscribe to the channel. Please put a comment below and let me know if you enjoy these videos. Is there anything you'd like me to do differently? Is there a specific beer that you think you'd like to see reviewed? I can certainly try and find it. And is there anything in part of the presentation of the beer review that you think could be done differently? I'm always open to suggestions. I would very much appreciate your feedback. Thank you as always for your time and support. Have a wonderful day. See you soon. Goodbye. Self company one.
think we're getting closer to the road now. It is really steep. There's no way I'm going back. It's too hot. I'm running out of water. Plus, I'm going straight from here to a friend's house to use his swimming pool. So that's all I'm thinking about right now. Keep my eye on the prize. Down here is where we started this morning, where we crossed over that main road and started heading up into the hill. So this is where we're heading now, back to Senes de la Vega. But first, yeah, I'm gonna skid and slide my way all the way down this hill. Let's see what happens. So close yet so far. In addition to it being steep, it's all just loose rocks and stones. This is a little silly that I'm doing this with a camera in my hand as well. Um, yeah. If I just walk kind of like sideways like a crab, I can just spread out my weight. I'm going to stop for a moment in the shade, have some water. Wow. I will review this very shortly. Here we are. Here we are. Yes! Ah, oh, yes! <coughs> oh, yeah, my lungs and my mouth, everything's full of dust. It's so dry, it hasn't rained in weeks. Thank you for joining me on today's adventure. As always, just knowing you guys are with me on these trips really makes it worthwhile and just gives me the motivation to, 
to get outdoors and get moving and yeah and stay active stay busy if you enjoyed this video please give me a thumbs up give me a like it'll be much appreciated if you haven't already please subscribe to the channel if you have any questions about today's adventure please drop me a comment below i read and respond to every question so it'll be great to hear from you thank you so much for your support as always have a wonderful rest of your day take care goodbye <laughs>